What's good YouTube, it's your boy Rel back with another video. Today we're gonna create a brand identity from scratch. So stay tuned to check it out. Peace. All right guys, I'm taking you through my entire process. This is what I do for every client that I work with. So we are creating main logo, emblem logo, a stack logo, color design, business card design, package design, and mock-ups. Thank you guys for making it. It's a long video, so make sure you get through the whole video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, and let's get started. The brand is called Black Beach Co. What they are and what they represent. They're classy, they're clean, modern, expensive, and unique. First things first, we gotta get, we gotta find some inspiration. Okay, so what we're gonna do is look up some inspiration from other brands, see what we can find, see what can ignite something in us, you know, to create something dope. All right, guys, so here's where we are. We got a few lockups on there. We got a couple script logos. I'm really feeling a script, a clean script for uh, Black Beach on this. I'm really feeling that. As you see, kind of kept the colors the same, dark, black, just because of the name Black Beach. I feel like it'd be great on some, some dark grays uh, and some other grays on there. That's where we at right now. Stay tuned. I'm about to start sketching our logos in Illustrator. All right, so after we've done our research, it's time to design the emblem. All right, guys, so I remember that I created a, a palm tree a minute ago. So I'm gonna reuse some of those assets that I never got to use. It was just like a practice thing, but I wanna see what it'll look like with this. So this is what the emblem looks like right now. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Obviously, this is not the final version of it, but we're getting there. So let me know what you guys think and uh, let's get back to work. 
All right, after we designed our emblem, it's time to design the rest of the logo, which includes a stacked logo and a horizontal logo. Right now, guys, I think we're getting on to something. Got multiple ideas that are kind of just rambling through my brain right now. So I'm trying to, it's like a puzzle. Putting logo, for me, putting logos together is like a puzzle. Look at it like, which piece fits where? And how do I bring it to life? You know, so my client, one, enjoys it, two, it makes them super successful because at the end of the day, I want my clients to make money because it reflects on me, you know, but also just because I want them to be successful because I know how it feels to have your dream come true. So that's where I'm at right now on this thing, guys. Thank you for watching the video so far.
did some shit on accident just now. Hold on now. I didn't mean to do that. I was just messing around, but hold on. Hold on. What are we doing? I'm about to create two versions of this. Cause uh, I didn't went off on a tangent on this little logo. I wanted to keep it simple, but we, we might go crazy on it. Create some little birds. Create some little birds. This might just be a badge real quick. When I'm creating logos, I try to keep them as clean as possible, but today I just went, I just like, fuck it. We gonna see what we can create, you feel me? It's all over the place and I never create logos like that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate him over here. Go back over here. We're gonna get these fonts. We're gonna see what happens when we put them next to it. Before I do any like finalizing with this, like getting rid of the backgrounds, like making it all one image, I, I make sure to mess with everything else first. I don't want to make any mistakes. I've learned my lesson plenty of times. Don't want to keep doing it. <laughs> I do not. Okay, so after looking at this, I realized I need another alternate logo or just make it black it's whatever i'm kind of feeling it uh, uh, i'm kind of feeling it but i'm not sure what happened to my birds i think i deleted them probably have to create them again or just move them from another asset So here's what we created guys, the horizontal logo, bow, right here, bow, lit up on you. And we got the stacked logo right here, bow. Did cheat a little bit, <laughs> I did cheat a little bit cause this palm tree is from a project that I was just messing around with a couple months ago. You did see that part, you did see me cheat a little bit, but it's all love, it's all cool. I kinda like it, I never really liked my own work. Very proud of this, uh, it is just in black, but the colors are black, dark gray, light gray. We might mess around and try to find some more colors for it. You know, it is beach, it is beach vibe. So maybe like a dark blue or something like that, just to kind of throw in blue in there. So after we designed our stack logos, it's time to find the colors for the brand. Like I said in the past video, I do like to go to color.adobe.com just to get color, my colorways. It helps me visualize what I want. And then I'll kind of mix and match it from there. I kind of go with the vibe, how I'm feeling. So here are some things to consider when choosing brand colors. What are the brand leaders in the industry doing? What is the vibe of the company? What is the industry? Is the audience masculine, feminine, or other? What's the age group of the audience? What's the location of the company and the audience? How long have they been in business? These questions will help you find out what colors you should choose and what, what direction you should go in. What the client's saying, how they feel about the project so far. I, I usually have them fill out a questionnaire and kind of give me some insight on what they want. So since it's just a made up project, I'm the client and the designer. I'm gonna sue myself for doing all this damn work. Nah, it's funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah guys, let's keep it going. Let's get these colors right. Uh, right now it's just black, dark gray, light gray, but we're gonna see if we can add in a little bit more colors there because that's just boring and we're not the Raiders. So we actually just typed in black beach and it came with some dark grays, black grays, but also, ooh, came with some blues. I don't like the, I don't like that these two are so close. So we're gonna get rid of one of these because they just it's too damn close. You can't tell the difference. I like contrast. If you notice anything about me and my artwork, I love clean design, but I also love contrast. So let's try to find something that stands out a little bit. What about one of these browns? They're on a the beach. That's a depressing ass beach. If we do brown, I like this stuff. As you see, we kind of shine away from our gray, but that's okay. And that's the beauty of uh, you know just making a YouTube video. You don't really gotta stick to anything. And even when I work with clients, sometimes they come in with a whole different palette that they want. And once you get into the project, once you start working on the design and coming up with the different schemes and stuff, you realize like we got more creativity than we thought. We got more freedom than we thought. So let's just have fun with it. I'm kind of like in this black and skyish blue. I'm kind of feeling that a lot. Let me see what this royal blue looks like. I like that too. So got the black is like 
for the black. Got the blue for the sky. Got the green for the beach, for the ocean. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have been to ocean. I just got back from South Padre two months ago. But the ocean wasn't the bluest. It was kind of a, a greenish, you know, something like that. So I like that green right there, but also had hints of pale blue, green ish color and the orange is sunset so it works guys it definitely works and if we ever wanted to make this into a 3d logo with the sunset in the background we can do it with these colors so that would be dope i'm not doing it today though we'll do it in another video if you guys like it let me know yeah so there's that so what we're gonna do guys we're gonna move into business cards right now so after we found our brand colors, it's time to design some business cards. All right, so when you're designing business cards, here are some things you should focus on. You should focus on a clear and concise look. You should stay on brand. You should stay within brand guidelines. Keep the information as minimal as possible. Keep in mind that the space is small and the print is even smaller and don't overcrowd the design.
I'm going to use some assets from a former um, my business cards because I don't feel like hunting down these damn emblems again these logos I don't feel like doing that so we're gonna just cheat per use so far I'm loving this business card though I'm loving it that's so far that's that blue is just fire and it goes with it because still got the blue from that I might add some black trimmings in here just to keep it on brand though thinking this so I'm just stick with how we had it I like this big block of blue but I'll get rid of that just keep it clean nice and clean back here okay now I'm, I'm live I am gonna use our emblems to help it break up Mind you guys, this is a generic fake brand, so don't be looking this up, please. <laughs> it's not a real company. Please do not look this up. Thank you. And uh, I'm loving the card. Nice and clean, it's a good use of the blue. Um, like I said earlier, if we wanted to go crazy and use some of the blacks that we got, we can. Out. Just kind of turn shit, turn shit up. That's okay. Really, I really just obsessed with this clean, cleanliness of the blue. It goes with the brand, nice and clean, nice and sleek. So we're gonna go with that. As you see, we have the final design right here. We got the front of the business card. It's, I love it. Love it so much. It works. It works. It, it really does sell the image of. Black Beach and what they want to accomplish. Here's the back of it, very clean. Again, use Black Beach all over just because I'm not a real person, no personality, you know, necessary. Love it, love it so much. So the last step, package design. But yeah, guys, back to the packaging. We're going to put together like a pattern for the brand. So stay tuned.
So right now, guys, I think I like this packaging. It's clean. It's kind of out the way. Oops. It's clean. It's kind of out the way. You know, it is repetitive as hell. Um, so I might create another another option just to see how it looks. I want to might create a, a bigger version of the business card of this. actually like the cleaner version uh, like the business card but we're gonna use them both uh, we're gonna use them both I wonder what this will look like with like a black outline or a black square around it just so we can see the logo let's see Put white or something right there and then just hit them with the blue that's not bad itself either off vintage vibes right here I hate that damn gap right there but whatever it's okay it's not okay it's gonna piss me off but okay this is better Let me back it up. okay I think we're gonna go with these two package designs right here I feel like um, if you were to get something from this company you'd be excited about it I would be I like the design I like the logos I like everything about it anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to share at the end of the video the mock-ups and how it all came together, how we're going to put it together. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Subscribe, like, comment. If you enjoyed the video, share it with somebody. Maybe they might want to copy boy services, you know, and you can make some money too with my referral program. Inquire below if you're interested. Have a great week. Peace. All right, guys, this is the final version of each design. You got the both logos, the business cards, and the package design. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I love you. I appreciate you for being here. Thanks for even making it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or watch this playlist right here if you want to see me design some more logos, flyers, all that. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all soon.